Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a simple high-low game for PC and mobile in Unity and welcome to episode 6. In this tutorial we are going to create the ability to kind of recycle our process and actually make our function and sequence go forward. Don't forget, click subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial that I upload to this series and everything else on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So. Up to now, we have our high button and our low button working, but all they do is repeatedly just generate the card. They don't really do anything special. So we need to add something extra to all of this to kind of understand what we're doing. So we need to tell our main card control whether we are doing a high guess or a low guess, and then based on that, whether we say it's correct or incorrect. Now we're going to do this a really cool and simple way in all honesty, because again, this is a simple way of doing it. It's then your job to really make this much more advanced. So for now, let's go to game object, UI, and let's go with text. And this text is gonna say uh, correct or incorrect, depending on what we're doing. So let's have this say in big capital letters, correct. And I'm over here in the text component. Let's make this much bigger. So let's have this as bold. Let's have the font size as uh, 50 and let's have it aligned in the center and let's have the color as bright white now make sure we have the rec tool selected let's take this over here and make it much bigger and then i'm going to move it upwards to about there and let's also anchor this let's have it stretched all the way across in the center so it's going to be this one and finally, what we'll do is we will rename this to say, oops, let me turn my caps lock off, correct text. And then I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm sure you probably know, incorrect text. And let's change that to say incorrect. And I'm going to have this red, bright red. So now we have the opportunity to say, yep, it's right or no, it's wrong. So let's turn both of those off. So select both in the hierarchy and then untick up here and they're both off. So let's head to our scripts folder once again and let's go to card control. Now what we need to do is add those two as variables. So let's go down and say public game object, remember capital G and a capital O. And we'll say correct text. And once again, for the incorrect text. So public game object in correct text, semicolon. Now, we also need to establish what we are doing. Are we guessing high or are we guessing low? And we can actually use a Boolean for this. So we're saying, public bool guess high and by default we're going to put false and we're going to do the same again public bool guess low also equals false now what this will do is it will guarantee a default value is set for this specific variable so both of them are going to be set false so once we set one high, we can set a sequence in motion. And you'll see how that works once we actually get into the realms of dealing with void update down here. I think we can get rid of void start because we don't need it. We're not having a method start once and then that's it. We need to have this method running constantly so as it monitors what we're doing in the game. So down here, what we're going to do is we're going to have an if statement that says, are we guessing high or are we guessing low? And if one of those statements is true, it's going to run something called a coroutine. What's a coroutine? A coroutine is basically a way of having a method, but we're able to control time as well, because that's what we need to do here. We need to have certain instances of when we need time to stop in the game. So we can't do anything where we need to wait for perhaps an animation to play out or something like that. Uh, but for now, 
all we need to do is let's start with the high button, I think. Let's just start with high. So if, and in brackets, guess high equals, now it's a double equals here. The reason it's a double equals because it's asking. So usually when you see a double equals like that, it's asking. If you see a single equals, it's telling. So a good example of that is if we're stating something is equal to something, it's a single equals because we're stating. If we're questioning, if we're asking if something is equal to it, it's a double equal. So if guess high equals true, then open curly bracket, and this is what we're doing. Let's have the words start, co, routine, and in brackets, we can call this coroutine anything we want. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone outside of anyone that's developing this, but it's probably sensible to have a normal name in here. So start coroutine would be guessing higher. And then open close bracket, close bracket once again, and semicolon. Now, the words guessing higher will remain underlined in red at the moment. That's because that coroutine doesn't exist yet. So let's go ahead and write that coroutine. So below the update method, so if you follow this line all the way down, you'll see where the update method ends. We need to go below it. Now to declare a coroutine, we don't type the word void. We type the word I enumerator. So I in capital, E capital, enumerator. Make sure you don't go with I enumerable because that will not work. So I enumerator, guessing higher, open close bracket, open curly bracket, and it will still be underlined here. The reason it's underlined here is because you can think of it in some ways as it's expecting you to halt time to some degree uh, because nothing exists in this coroutine just yet. That's obviously why. So let's actually make it wait for, let's say, one second. And then we can establish whether one second is long enough, too short, anything like that. So we need to type the words yield, return, new. And then we need to say, wait for seconds. And in brackets, let's type one and a semicolon. So at this point, at any point, if guess high becomes true, then this coroutine will run. And what we need to do to make this go true, we need our high button to tell it to go true. Now, I'm gonna give you a bit of a challenge at this point what I've just described, why will it not work? So I'll let you think about why it won't work while we carry on with the next couple of lines before I tell you why it currently won't work. So we've guessed high. We then need to establish if the new card number is indeed higher or equal to the dealt card number. So we can say if new card number is equal to or greater than dealt card number, then do the following. And that should actually be greater than or equal to in that order. So if our new card is indeed equal to or greater than, new card, than our original dealt card number, I should say, then what do we do? Well, we carry on with the sequence. So let's get back to why it will not work currently. Hopefully you got that one. It's because these two are not static because the other script needs to tell this one that they are true. So let's change both of those to static. Like so. Which also means that if we go to high button, let's save that script first. Let's go to our high button script. It does mean that down here, we also need to say card control dot uh, guess high equals true with a semicolon and let's save that script. So let's go back to our card control. So basically what we're doing here is we're creating a sequence of events that occurs when we press the button. So let's say we've pressed it. That is now true. So this coroutine will run, which means it will wait for a second. The card will have already been dealt because the high button script will have done that. And now it's establishing whether we are correct or not. And if we are, what does it do? Well, let's have 
correct text display. So correct text dot set active true semicolon. After that, what happens next? Well, we need to basically switch over and say, well, obviously if it's incorrect, we, we need to do incorrect. So we'll do that as well. Uh, but for now, what we'll do is we will also turn off the high and low buttons. So let's add those as variables inside which script should we do? Let's have them in this script as well. I think it's probably wise because this script is going to control so much. It's probably a good idea to allow this script to um, basically control the buttons as well. So let's add those down here. So public game object and we'll have high button and then we'll have public game object low button. I will also have the deal button as well because we will need to reset everything at some point. Game object and deal button. So that means that we need to basically turn off these buttons as soon as we've guessed. So if guess high, let's turn off those two buttons because if we've guessed high, we need both buttons to go off no matter what. So in our if guess high equals true section, we put high button dot set active false semicolon. Oops, we should actually close the bracket first. That would normally be the best thing to do. Uh, low button dot set active false as well. So both of those have gone off. So we've got it correct. That's all great. Our text displays. And next thing we need to do is do well if we're wrong. So here we'll have else and in cur uh, open curly brackets, we will say incorrect text dot set active true semicolon and save. So in its simplest terms, what we've done here is we have dealt the card. We are going to say, we think it's higher. If it is indeed higher, it should say correct. So to go through all of this, we are turning the buttons off so we can't repeatedly guess. It's then starting the coroutine. It's waiting a second after the card has been dealt, and then it's going to say correct or incorrect. So let's head back into Unity and test out what we've written so far. So we need to go to settings and we need to go to this card control script here because remember we have a couple of variables that are now available to us. So correct text goes in there, incorrect text goes in there, high button, low button and deal button. And let's save our scene and press play and let's try this out. So deal card, eight, let's go high and it should say correct. There we go. So we got it right. And obviously the low button currently won't work. It will still deal the card, but it won't actually do anything. There we go. So let's, let's try and make this, uh, this high button just make it say incorrect. So high, obviously that's still going to be correct. Let's try once again. You'll find yourself doing this kind of thing when testing games all the time. Okay. So this is a good chance for us. Hi, it's a Jack incorrect. So let's now get that low button working. So let's go back into card control and down here, we can actually repeat this. If we copy all of this down here and put guess low equals true. Obviously we set both of those off still. So this still occurs. And instead of guessing higher, we're guessing lower. So hopefully you guys have guessed already. We can actually copy this coroutine, place it below and just change it to guessing lower. And instead of having higher than or equal to, we change it to lower than or equal to right there. Now, one final thing that we're going to need to do is we need to turn those booleans back to false. So if we've guessed high, let's say, guess high equals false. And the reason we can do this is because 
we've already activated this if statement. So if, even if we turn it off, we're still inside this if statement, which means it's still going to run. But obviously we need to reset those booleans because we're gonna have another card dealt to us and we constantly need to reset those. So once again, guess low equals false. Semicolon and save. So let's now check on all of this and make sure it works. So if we press play and deal ourselves a new card, low, ah, okay. So something has gone astray there. That's because we haven't actually set the low button to work. Classic. Uh, so uh, low button, low card. Let's just make sure all of this works. And oh, I, of course I know why. It's because in low button, we haven't told it what we're doing, have we? Because remember in the high button, we have guess high is equal to true, but we didn't do it in low, of course. A nice, simple debugging session there. So card control dot guess low equals true, semicolon and save. Head back into Unity and let's test this out. There we go. So deal card, low, correct, excellent. Let's try once more, see if we can get it to say incorrect. Oh, it says correct again. <laughs> so deal, low. Okay, you're just gonna have to take my word for it on this one. It, it will work. Oh, there we go, incorrect, perfect. So we now have established the routine that can detect whether we are correct or not. So. Next tutorial, what we're going to do is we are going to probably add in a little bit more UI. Um, probably add in some animation to that incorrect. Um, and probably, hopefully, kind of get the sequence all rolling through so we can reset and guess again, high or low. So until that next tutorial, thanks very much for watching, guys.